Welcome back. It is time for us to do the practice set for lesson 109, which are equivalent fractions. So here we go. They want us to identify the equivalent fractions in this illustration. And we see that this has eight parts. One, two, three, four, five, six, six eighths. We also see that this is equivalent and we identify this as three fourths. Our next one is three ninths. And we know that this equals one third. The next, the following, they want you to shade in two fourths and one half. like that. You can see that it is equivalent. Our next one is four six. I'm going to shade in four of these little guys. Two, three, four, and two thirds. So and our next one is two eighths. And you can see right now two eighths equivalent to one fourth. This last one, I want you to stop and pause and do it and then come back as we discuss it, okay? So we're gonna take one fourth and we're gonna multiply it by one. Only in this situation, we're multiplying it by two over two. So one fourth multiplied by two over two is two eighths by three over three is three twelfths. Multiplying it by four over four is four sixteenths. Multiplying it by five over five is five twentieths. We want you to do the same thing for five sixths. We're going to multiply it by two over two, which gives us ten twelfths. And then when we multiply it by three over five sixths by three over three, gives us fifteen eighteenths. 20 20 fourths and 25 thirtieths. The answer for H with two fifths, the equivalent fraction for two fifths, four tenths, six fifteenths, eight twentieths, ten twenty fifths. And the last one is one tenth. We can do it as two over 20. 3 over 30, 4 over 40, and 5 over 50. And there you have it, the practice set. Good luck on your work. I wish you well with the homework. Let me know if you have any problems or you need help. Until then, take care.